Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mole for Saturday, the 18th of March. Continuing to use Robert Murray McShane's reading scheme, one of the chapters we read today is the Gospel of John, chapter 8. Jesus in the temple, um, engaging with people, teaching, being challenged, uh, speaking about himself, speaking about the kingdom. And it continues with us this, this quite a bit of debate about who he is and what authority he has and why does he think he can say the things he does. And right at the end of the chapter, the, the people say, do you think you're greater than Abraham? And Jesus' response to them in verse uh, 58 is, I tell you the truth, Jesus answered, before Abraham was born, I am. Making quite extraordinary claims, claiming the, the, the title of God, Yahweh, I am. Applying it to himself, understandably, the people, because they didn't see who he was, were upset. And we're told, at this, they picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus hid himself, slipping away from the temple grounds. So he has this crowd ready to stone him, and we're told Jesus hid himself. And we're not told how he did that. <laughs> With those who have this side of uh, Harry Potter, did he put out a, an invisibility cloak and quickly put it on and no one could find him? <laughs> did he suddenly strike the mask of the crowd with blindness? I don't think he did, because if he'd done something miraculous like that, John would have probably have included that, that he struck the crowd with blindness and they couldn't see him and he walked away. But we told Jesus hid himself and then he slipped away from the temple. It's almost as though with this crowd and the milling and people coming backwards and forwards, he sort of ducked and hid and got behind a pillar and uh, then surreptitiously crept out the temple. And his time wasn't right. And that just made me think that um, if Jesus would use ordinary sort of procedures like hiding behind a pillar or whatever he did, hiding himself and then slipping away from the temple. We mustn't think that God will necessarily do miraculous great wonders when we're in need. Very often he's going to say, do what you can. I'm not going to strike everyone with blindness. Hide yourself and then slip out the temple. And get away from them and just don't sort of provoke the confrontation any further. Um, and it's always a challenge for us to, to have uh, spiritual reality answerable to God, doing what he calls us, at the same time me uh, meshing it with, with practical, normal, human ways of doing things. Um, and we need to recognize that a lot of what Jesus did was practical, normal, every day. He did not always walk on the water. He did not always direct the winds and the waves to give him the best journey. On occasion he did, but a lot of the time he didn't. Um, and so we must just be prepared to do what we can, to use common sense, to be practical, <laughs> to, to be sensible, sensible about what we do um, as we go through our life and know that, that sort of that's part of what God calls us to as Christians. So be encouraged to walk with God, to use your common sense, um, and know that in all of it, God is with us and we are blessed.